we are headed to ground break at the turn in our quest and that means we'll be able to get the the nav key as well okay oh now wait there wait there wait there we also went to to that place we've just been for the the upgrade for the the robot welcome back captain how can i be of assistance take care Unless I put it on the robot just by itself. Yeah, so we can get a new companion. Hello. That's right, the acid steeper. We'll turn this in now. Hello, big boy. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This SAM unit is unable. To locate your registered information, would you like to register your SAM? Certainly do. Registering new owner, Captain. So where did he come from? All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. <laughs> I bet you they do. No, I mean like, I want to know more about you. Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away. Ah, so I wonder if this companion acts differently to others. Like you maybe you can like buy or find upgrades in the in in the world and then spend on this guy. What do you say, Sam? You wanna help me clean up this colony? Got stubborn stains. Leave them for Sam. Well then, welcome aboard. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. Go on, son. You know what it reminds me of? The um, Robocop 2, where you've got the, the drug addict that lives inside of the robot and his little face is in there. It's hideous. That's what it reminds me of. Now, what are his stats? Sam. Hmm. He's not actually in the... The, um, the menu. Unless we have to like reset the area, which we'll do anyways, because we're we're fast traveling the ground breaker. Done. We've arrived at the ground breaker. Now is he in the? Now, unless he works a bit differently. Right, let's go. So we've got to hand in this quest to Gladys, pick up the key, and then we're also going to the salvage you breakers. You don't seem to like traveling with us much. Why in the architect's name would you say that? It's just that you're real grouchy. Kind of all the time? I'm not grouchy. I'm just, just irritated by inane questions. <laughs> yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. I love these two. They're my bros. My bros from different homes. You see we had a conveyor pull in? Now one thing I'm interested in is does this guy's inventory reset after we fast travel away so I can get another key card? No. No it doesn't. <laughs> no it does not. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Yes. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up and now. And about those secrets you asked me for. What'd you turn up? I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound it because I actually gave it back, didn't I? Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. I acquired some research on 
Raptodon Musk. Interested? Pardon me, sweetheart. My old ears must have misheard you. Did you say Raptodon? Gracious. Someone must have hauled them off Monarch. Naughty, naughty. A couple of folks around here might pay a fair few bits for this. Might even be able to start a bidding war. Now the schematics for the prototype weapon from Force. I'm not sure if I want to keep that or not. I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Um, I'm still searching. I'll report back later. Be sure to come back for Magazine Club. I don't know. What's that? Speak up now. Oh, what's this? Intimidate 86, persuade 86. Bloody hell. Right, I'm still searching. I'll report back later. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Can I get my stats up that big? What am I on now? Seventy two. Intimidate 69, so I've got a better chance with Persuade, but I do have Persuade here, don't I? Persuade Helmet. I actually like the way that looks. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Right, so what's my stats at? 82. I need 86. But if I put one on her, if I put... Eighty-four. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this for now. I want to go and do the other quest for speak with Lilia Hagen who runs Sublight. Maybe if I can get a level up from this I'll start putting points in Persuade. And to be honest I actually quite like the way This, this armor looks alright actually. I'll just wear this for now. Come on then. Oh no, I need to give her her armor back. Put that back on. Done. I'm coming back to see you. Now. Oh, there's so many things I want to try out. What? I want to try out. This helmet that gives me extra distance to lockpick. Can I get into this chest? Oh my god, I could lockpick that chest from here, but they're going to all see. Can't do it from here. Now nah, there's no way to get in get in there, not from here anyway. Okay then. Well it was worth a shot. So I'm headed up to Lily Hagen. In fact, I'm just gonna load that up in case her getting up there fucked something up. Because <laughs> she looked a bit junky when she got out of her seat. Come on then. We'll just get our next level up, put some points into Persuade, and then jobs are good. But wait there, now that we're high enough level. Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? 
Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Ah, oh, wait there. I must. Fair warning. You're still logged in on one of the public term terminals. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of space. Uh, have a look. Oh, look, they do. They sell Mark II weapons now. That's good to know. Although the armor's still regular. So, the weapons, the look of the weapons don't change. Just the stats as you level up. I'm a bit disappointed in that, to be honest. I've already been in that terminal. Alright fellas. Uncomfortable lit silences. Yeah. Who are you? Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping. A legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? That's right. Named Captain Haw Hawthorne. Sure you are. <laughs> Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. You're a sublight employee. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. All right, I should go. Miss Lilia. Lilia Hagen. Hello, hello, hello. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. I'm gonna lie. Sorry, I never heard of you. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. It's nice <laughs> to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Um, Get to the point, please. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. What is it? Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Oh shit, I need that nav key. I don't have a nav key, but can I still take the job? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Oh, Time so we speaks. have to do it. I take it Sublight isn't strictly a salv salvage operation. These days, the scrap business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. What kind of other sectors? Our field is persuasive acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation and a shot across the bow. You know, <laughs> legal formalities. I'm going to wink and nod at that. Good boy. I know you'd understand. <laughs> she called us a good boy. Are you kidding me? Um... You're very honest about the criminal side. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. How organized? Very. I have this thing about numbers in spreadsheets. Oh, spreadsheets. Brigs in general. Yeah. I like to think of myself as ass. Right, tell you what I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna go and buy that nav key. Fuck it. Are you really in jail, Mr. Max? And you were our vicar? Yes, but as I've repeatedly said, I was assigned there as a vicar. I was not a prisoner. I just can't believe you'd lie. I was not lying. It had no bearing on my ability to minister to my flock and was therefore not worth mentioning. If you're here for this... Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. 
You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. Where am I headed? She's a tear. You'll now. Was there anything else? So I'm gonna hold out. What's that? On that until Speak I get that up. up. Now. Any. So I can get extra rewards. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Monarch is a wretched hive of terrorism and anarchy. We best top off our ammo stock before we leave. Monarch is anarchy, is it? But that's not where we're going. We're going to Cilia. Or Scylla, however you pronounce it. You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. Got the key, baby. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage. But he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Okay, so we've got to go to the Saltuna Warehouse first on Eid... What is it? Not Eden 2. Something 2. What are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. What is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Fair Before enough. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. Ah, yes. Alta Vitae. I knew someone who inhaled it by accident. I'd never seen anybody spontaneously combust before. I see your friend here is the brains of <laughs> the operation. Good. Every salvage crew needs one. Ah, he's a good lad. I'll take the job. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Well then. We've got some doors to... Unlock. Oh my god, I can lockpick doors from just the other side of the room with that helmet. It's the best thing I've ever picked up. Why, thank you. Come on, come on. We're going into our secret quarters. Going to find all of our dirty magazines. Lads, get in. Ooh, a plasma cutter. Protective clothing with safety harness. It's not actually that good. Oh, there was nothing. Nothing exciting. Oh, there should have been something exciting in there. Come on then, let's go. What are you going to say? You know what is we don't even need to do this? We can just fast travel to the the ship. I forgot what the planet's called. I wanted to call it Eden 2, but it's it's not called Eden 2. It's called something else. I know it's got a 2 in the name. Pick up any more strings while you were out? I suppose if the crew's quarters fill up, we could hang hammocks in the cargo hold. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Put him on the screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. 
They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Tell me what to do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Wait, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. So we can't go there yet. Terra 2, that's what it's called. Oh, so we're actually going to Monarch now. Scylla. Wait there. See, I don't want to do the main quest. I want to do... I actually wanted to find Captain Irion on Scylla, because that's a... Um, a side quest. So Stella Bay is on Monarch. Right, I'm not going to do that yet. Stella Bay. So it must be a multiple... Hmm. Multiple places already. What about Scylla? I'm gonna go. I wanna do this one first because this seems like more of a, of a main quest. You think? Fuck it, let's do it. I'm going to Monarch. Still a bit. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Oh, look at the size of that! I love it. Faction quest. And deliver to Catherine Mallant and Falbrook. I thought I was heading to Terra too. Unless there's a Saltuna factory out here. I'm not sure what to expect. Is this going to be like lava or no? It actually looks like a poisonous atmosphere, doesn't it? That is. Imagine if you did live on this planet and you had to see that every day. It's awe-inspiring, but also intimidating. Still a bee. Oh, look, man, it's a full town. Oh, this is nice. Oh my god, I'm excited. Now the question is, how the hell do I get down? Oh, is that a lift? MSI God. Hello, friend. Grim. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. And what are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Alex Hawthorne. Swell. 
There's one for the logs. I'm even gonna give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Is it really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Well, I'm going to have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? I will do, mate. Oh, <laughs> and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers toss ball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Poster is pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. All right, I'll look into it. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Oh my god. More areas to explore. I love it. So what's that over there? Passcode. Conk it over there. We're probably going to have to walk through town and make our way outside via like a main gate or something. Oh look, he's got one of them, them flame sights. MSI Sentinel. We don't get many outsiders. Oh, the Yacht Club. Oh, there's Nyoka. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby wrapped stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Yeah. I don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? I'm told you can get me to an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Right, so what do you need? Outstanding. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Oh, we've got a deal. So, I'm glad we picked that up because we have to do that for her to progress the main quest anyway. Nothing too exciting. Nyoga Bar Talk Bingo Sheet. Right between the eyes, there were three, no four of them. That rat was this big. Took it down with one shot. Buy me a drink. She sounds like a right Jack and Ori, doesn't she? Okay then. 
What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock steals, a worker earns his meals. Monarch. This must be the, the governor's house. Celia Robbins. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? What was that exchange about? You have money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? Oh, issues. Not that I got any prior experience with such. <laughs> She's not got issues. All. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on rapted on acid. Um, do you normally do that? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth. Or a mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. And why are you buying so much from him? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. Definitely. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbours are complaining about the smell. So why don't you ask him on a date? I couldn't. What if he says no? Does every girl hey, have the same issue? Maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. <laughs> right. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. So what do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Ooh, like there's stuff going smoldering. on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Do you really want to be with someone you can't talk to? You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. This is a fish in the sea, Celia. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like saltuna or they're my boss. Besides, oh. a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. You're looking at him. You're looking at him, pet. That's it. Sorry. Right then, Sanja. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Yeah, baby. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Oh no, mate. Continue talking those numbers, baby. It's getting me hot. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. <laughs> this guy's a legend. I'm so generous, I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I'm just looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. It could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. This Sanjar's shop becoming my favorite character in the game. <laughs> What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? If you're free of other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. 
Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else. Why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. You do have a point. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future. But the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicker, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. <laughs> yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So what do you mean to do about it? That's the thing. Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Returning to the board is your only chance if you hope to survive here on Monarch. That doesn't mean it'll be easily achievable. Indeed not. No worthwhile plan was ever simple. That's what I always say. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's up. It's true. Our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how are you going to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. Fantastic. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. So what's a Bolt 52? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Heavy ordinance. An ordinance, of course. We do things in a civilized fashion here. Not like Graham's iconoclasts. There's nothing the board likes so much as paperwork. Ah, so it's a legal document. Where is it? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Why are you saying it that way? Saying what? Which way? Arms instead of arms. That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. I'm sure I'll know when I, when I find it. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, this could be juicy. Before I go, I need to ask you what something. What can I do for you? I met Grim the landing, the landing pad god. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He was top tier, did a bang up job mate. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? I need to know about MSI in the good old days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. What is the hazard clause? It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. A necessary evil for the greater good of society. That's exactly how the board describes it. And they've invoked it on Monarch. Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. And you don't seem to think much of Graham. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. They like the... I will admit, I am keen to meet their leader. Me too. Well, be careful what you wish for. Graham has a habit of ruining everything, and everyone, around him. Maybe you should give them a chance. A chance? They've been doing this for years. And I... Well, let's just say I know enough about Graham to be confident that he won't change. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. 
It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. Right, that's good enough for what me. What can I do for you? So if I can if I can patch up relations between him and Graham, then Sanjar's to do list, review guidelines, select front for annual self review. This guy's all about self reviews. You know what I hate? What's the worst thing to have ever graced? The working world. It's fucking reviews and stuff. That's just shit. It's like pompous shit. Right, so nothing too exciting in here. Oh, that's to the main square. This area is actually huge. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for people we can talk to. Sebastian Adams Wildlife Emporium. Where was that? Wrapped musk and canid eyes, right here. Hello there. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that raptodon acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smite at her. Smoot? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for rapted on tongues. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Oh, and oh bless. Oh bless. Aren't you just the absolute ray of sunshine? <laughs> oh, then we'll tell her. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he yep. say? Oh, wait there. Grim asked him to check with you about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man. Because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But okay. I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. So about Sebastian. Oh, have you talked to him? Prepare to get your niggas wet, because he's gone on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. He likes you, just don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry, if I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. <laughs> ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Level 16. Level 16. Which means we've got To get persuade up to I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to these points for now for now but I am gonna have the perk I said I was gonna go with this wasn't a chance to reset a companion ability cooldown but upon seeing that Mm. 
I don't, I don't actually, these perks don't seem too good if I'm honest. They're just a bit shit really. I'll get that. Reset the companion ability cooldown when using the other companion ability. Done. In fact, should I just spend this? Persuade. There we go, I've, I've put it all in Persuade. 88, that's good. So that means I don't need to switch anybody's equipment around. Did I actually want to put points in anything else? I don't think I did. I do like Persuade, it's an awesome dialogue choice. Right, I'm going to go with that. Done. Now, what else is there? That must be the way out. I need your help. I. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little trucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Your child's missing. Where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? We definitely can. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Why would he run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little finger. <laughs> Calm down, pet. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Where do you think he would have went? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the Iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No! And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already! Tell me about the Iconoclasts. Those low-life degenerates, leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there, fighting for the greater good. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who'll listen. If they weren't holed up Where's in that, that old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I'd, or that he never made it. Or... I'll help oh, you. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what, before we head out, we might as well pick up all the side quests we can. Yeah. What the hell? I think I'm gonna be sick. Put yourself together, man, and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. That's exactly where now, I'm going. If you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. So we've got a murderer. Lower right. Oh, shit. Oh! oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. Calm down, you just made a shit me pants. Some way to die. Well, he'll not be needing this stuff, will he? 
Why, thank you. Right, let's get to the bottom of this. Any clues? Tosspole betting slip. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wages made against a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field tossball betting. Several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and colour, were stuffed into their suitcase. The stainless steel rat. Investigate the left field toss ball betting. Okay, so that, that must be like a, a bookies. The bookies. We like to place the bet. Oh, hello. Watch your step if you venture outside the walls. I'm going to explore in here. Whatever you do, don't make him talk. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got him stuck in an hour-long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. Oh, so everybody knows about him. That's all he talks about. All for, deli for deliveries. Dropping a care package off when the... Mathers in the old ruins south of Stella Bay. Be back soon. Laura, I know you're reading this. Stay out of my things. All these rooms seem empty. Is this even lived in? Chef Raymond. Plasma launcher. Persuade plus three. I like the sound of that because Persuade, lockpick, and engineering. Oh, that's right, I've given her a lockpick. So I don't need any more because I've actually put points in my thing. Okay, I'm not going to get that. Everett Gill. Good day to you. Good day. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. Why? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Oh, that's right. My engineer's looking to get a dust back casserole. Can you cook one? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst, and the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. The not worry, pet. We'll just use a little bit of intimidation. You take me for an idiot, no damn casserole's worth that much. Try again. Try harder. What? No, Captain, I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain, this is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. I'll give you 2,000. I'll get back to you on that. Sure, just let me know. 
Have I thought about leaving Celebi? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with Sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Just tell me. Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call good standing with the board. So even if I could get out of here, no one's going to hire me. Not with that attitude. Was there something else? Or did you just want to mock me? Well, be a bit more positive, be a bit more upbeat. And things will start looking up for you. Lucky you. Question I've got is... Can I just steal that from him, or is it like a... An item that becomes available only when you use the dialogue option. Nope. I bet you he's got one tucked away somewhere. And he's just holding out on me. 2,000 bits! Bitch! Look at all the salt tuna. Oh shit. Whoops a daisy. Sorry mate. Busy stealing. Got a bit carried away. Done. I think I'll just buy it off him. Why not? I see you stuck around. If you got the bit, I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. <laughs> it's just how cooking works. <laughs> there we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? He's kind of a brute. Oh, gosh. My tongue's what? rumbling just smelling that casserole. I'm friendly. Just when bitches like you get in my way trying to overcharge me for some bloody casserole, gotta be shitting me. Is the next part of her quest in here? Find sweetheart cakes in old Rizzo's facility in Cascadia on Monarch. Okay, well we will be going there. In Fallbrook on Monarch. Take Max to visit him. So Fallbrook's outside of the walls, okay. The missing passcodes in this building, we're actually make, making our way around to there, so we'll probably get that soon. What is this? St knock you out bar. Oh, why, I think I will. Another Vortex Mace. Done and done. Right, we've got to get out of here. So we were headed this way. This is out of the city as well, isn't it? Yes. Ah, so there's north. The ruins are north. A 
It's a bit of a shithole here, isn't it? On Monarch. It's not as classy as I thought it was going to be. Abigail Edwards. If Zelma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own cathanoid. Don't be so hard on <laughs> With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like, hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, he's a strapping young man. Velma's gonna be extra cranky if she doesn't get her... Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? She is a frisky beggar. Oh, caffeine supplement. Yes, give me one of them. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? It's the for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Ah, shit. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. <laughs> Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? You just can't trust people these days, can you? Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. Yeah, I do, I do. I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Aren't you a saucy thing? Yeah, baby. I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience. It does. Theory. It does. Why don't you show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love to. My rheumatism is especially fixed at the moment, <laughs> and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? It's a um, fin yoga. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I had told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. There must be some way I can increase New York guy's allotment. Well, I'm afraid not. I'm just gonna go and steal it. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Hold on, I thought you were in charge around here, Andy. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Forgetfully. Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. Where is he? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. Now hold on, what is this flower of enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Chin up, dearie. I like her. I'm not going to intimidate her, even though I could. I'm actually just going to go upstairs and steal it. Da 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 da. Oh, we can get in there easily. Nyoka. Liver damage, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism. Attitude problem, likely the result of pro prolonged alcoholism. Frequent social withdrawal, likely the result of prolonged alcoholism. What an awesome summary. Increased caffeinoid allotment, I could do that. Accept 
Excessive consumption may lead to irritability, fatigue, uncontrollable bowel movements, nausea and death. Fuck it, let's do it. Patient not found. So that was one way to do it. Create new account. Can't do it. Right. Now I could have just stole it from here, did they? Got it. I'm such a beast. Optional search Dr. Williams's body. I think I will do that. But not now. I want to quickly go downstairs and see if I can get some more off her. So we've got multiple doses. Come to share a secret with Auntie Abigail. Oh, we can't speak Come to her anymore. To share a secret with Auntie Abigail. Right, never mind. Um, I am going to do the optional quest on that. And have we done... We haven't even begun to search everywhere on here yet. This place is huge. Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. No, I mean, more ah, usual. This is the Blue, warehouse. I made it a point to stay out of her way. I tell you what we'll do. I'm going to call it an episode there. When we start next episode, I want to go into this warehouse and ask her about the, that, that card. And then, I think that's everywhere in here explored. Then we'll go out in the wilderness for some action and quest lines. Okay lads, hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.